I have been playing Enter the Gungeon on and off since 2016. I would pick it up, go, hey, this is pretty cool, die, uninstall the game, and eventually come back to try again four months later. And the reason for this is because this game is just straight up fucking horseshit. It is unacceptably hard, and most of that torment can be attributed to the fact that if you die, you go all the way back to the start of the game. There is nothing more disheartening than losing all of your progress and having to start again from square one. Of course, the catch is, next time, you might make it a little further. Progression in this game comes in a few subtle ways, the most obvious of these is just you learning the enemy attack patterns and room layouts, but you also unlock prisoners and guns that will help you inch closer towards the finish line. It may have taken me 45 hours, but I have just beaten the game, guys. <laughs> now, let's see what I can unlock. As the title suggests, there are a lot of guns in this game. There is a barrel gun that shoots fish. There is a t-shirt cannon. There is a literal pea shooter. They brought in the noisy cricket. You have a gun that turns people into chickens. The shotguns dare you to get up in a dude's face and blast him for extra damage. The sniper rifles leave these awesome vapor trails when you fire them. Other guns, like the Super Meat Boy gun, will fill the entire room with buzz saws. You have stuff from Goldeneye, Metroid, Mega Man, Blade Runner, Judge Dredd, Quake, Metal Gear, Halo, Dead Space, Earth Jim. You have a stinger missile that shoots bees. You have a gun that is a lowercase letter R, and when you pull the trigger, it goes bullet. The gunfights are insane. You have projectiles and debris flying all over the room. You can kick tables over for cover. Sometimes there will be books on top of the tables that will absorb a few shots. Explosive barrels can be rolled into enemies and shot. You have chandeliers hanging over you that can be knocked down with a lever. Enemies will hop in minecarts and shoot at you while driving around the room. There are so many layers to the action on screen with so much information being hurled at the player that when you first start playing, it will feel daunting. If there is one refuge from the game's ruthless difficulty, it is in its goofy and charming visual style. Everything in this game is guns, the currency is shell casings, the snake boss is called Ammo Conda, so naturally he attacks you like this. The enemies themselves are bullets and then they actually shoot you with their own guns, so you have to dodge those bullets that the bullets are shooting at you by tiptoeing through these tiny gaps in between their attacks or rolling through them while simultaneously shooting your own bullets out of your gun, which may in fact be a bullet that shoots out pistols. Do you see what I'm saying? Enter the Gungeon is the kind of game you'll appreciate the more you play it, with combat so intense and satisfying to master that I still feel compelled to go back even after completing the game a dozen times.